is the, I can't remember which day it is, it's Wednesday, which means it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's the morning of day four. Morning. Oh, there's Nadia. Oh, she's got all her bits out. Mark. Um, we're about to go, well, we're thinking about going to Kynance Cove. Why? Because today's, tomorrow it's rainy. So we've just been checking high and low tides. Makes me feel like a fisherman, actually. Um, so we need to kind of get there before low tide is at noon. So after noon, it starts to come in slowly until six. <gasps> what? Just cover something. You know that cafe right by Kynance Cove? Yes. You can stay. Well, I'm sure it's only got room for one person. It's It'll tiny. It'd be really lovely to stay there one day right by Kynance Cove. And wait Nadia for isn't a driver. Room. Nadia isn't a driver. So I'm already just thinking, okay, I can get us to Kynance Cove Park, to the National Park Place. There's no, you know, this whole sort of Queens issue and all that kind of stuff. Nadia wants to go a step further and see if we can drive down to the actual cafe. I mean, it's going to be inundated with people, so it's going to be busy. So I think trying to then also get to the cafe in the car is, is a step too far. So anyway, Maddie's a bit nervous because we've now got to wake up the kids. It's a hard sell to kids getting up early and getting in the car. It really is. They think that things can just happen at whatever time. Your mum will be happy they've got crab sandwiches. But she can't get there, back. Oh yeah. She can't She'll be able to do it and She can't get there. She'll be able to do it. I know, but I always get frustrated for her because then she never sees anything. She doesn't, I mean, Kynance Cove, we know she can't get down there. Oh, so she I can sit up at the top. She can sit at the top and draw, keep oh, the okay. car keys, get in and out of the car. Okay, are you going to try and tell the girls or? What time are we going to leave? Wow. As I say, low so tide is at noon. We'll get them up. 20 minutes to get there. Okay. I'm off. How are you? Subs have missed you. Like you say, you haven't been featuring because you've just sort of been quite quiet and retiring. What's wrong with you? I haven't. I've been in the background, but you just refused to film me. That's not true. It is true. So, Mum. Yes. Here's the plan today. Oh, yeah, give me the plan. You ready? I'm ready. I realise that in the presentation of the plan, one has to be careful so that you don't bail out within seconds. <laughs> so, Kynance Cove is about 15 minutes away. Right. So it's not a big drive. No. There's a cafe. Right. on one side that we're phoning at 9.30 to see if there's disabled access for us to pull up, drop you off, put you there next Let to the toilet up. with a constant supply of coffees oh. and the ability to draw one of the most perfect coves in the world that I think you'd be so sad not to see. Oh, you're so sweet. I mean, I don't mind if... if, if and if not, yeah. there's the National Trust car park right. where I can leave you with the keys and you can park up there. And I mean, the, kid, the thing is, the kids don't want to stay. You know, the tide is out at noon. Mm. So there's a limited period of time of only about two hours anyway that we can really sort of be down there. So I, right. if I was you, you'd have the car to retire to and you could draw. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah? Would, we're would leaving that be your, the... your advice for you to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you'll love it. No, no, no. I mean, your advice is good. You know me better than anybody. Yeah. And you know what's good for me. What have you eaten for breakfast? Um, Frosties. So how was your night's sleep? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, that's good. No, no. Uh, what was that? If a little you... bit warmer? Yeah, yeah, no, totally warm. But I think that's because of the wind, Morning. isn't it? Morning. Hello, sweetie. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, beautiful day, huh? She's yeah, going to no come. Wind. I've said that we're going to phone Kynance Cove. Yeah, 9.30. Yeah. Nice, there's no wind. Yeah. Makes a real difference today. Difference. Have you seen any ospreys? No. Or I'm, seagulls? I'm, but mind you, the fact that there's no wind might mean no ospreys. No currents to drift on. Exactly. Mind you, the words going around the Osprey community. There's a there's a yeah. there's a thing that looks like a big mammal. Yeah. It does it sticks out its limbs every day and Who's breathes that? heavily. Oh me. On the floor. Oh yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Bring back a limb. Oh, are you filming this? You having a nice time. Oh, I'm having a wonderful time. I'm, are you filming this? Yes. Oh. Are you identifying oh. birds? No, no, no. But it's too late now. I think it's kind of a bit hot now because there's no wind for the birds. I mean, um. I was going to say, uh, I was thinking in the car yesterday when we were travelling around, the, and it's a bit like sitting here and looking out, the, um, the contrast between here and London, and, uh, not your bit, well yes, your bit as well as my bit, is so profound, they could mm. be two different countries, couldn't they? I mean, mm. easily, easily. You would think that half of the people in where I live don't 
never drive around and see hedges. Oh, and God, trees no. And, no. All these poor kids being in the back here. Go on, stretch your right legs there. out today, girls. So Nadia's going yeah, in the boot today. We're off to Kynance Cove. The park car park, the park car gets full by 11, so we're trying to go you know, hastily. Be another, 10 another 10 minutes for Nan. Can't be another 10 minutes. No, she can't be another 10 minutes. She said you guys knew. Well done, Mum. I'll tell you what's really odd about this trip to Cornwall, Mum. We've had to remove the entire art element because everywhere's shut. Yeah, that's very true. It's very sad. You got your camera? Have you got your book? Have you got your legs? Yeah. Brought your teeth? teeth? Brought my teeth. Got your teeth? Got your sanity? Short, short term memory? Shut up. She's in. Okay, we, we are now at a standstill. We left all singing and dancing and so excited about going to one of our fave, I think it is one of our favorite places, isn't it, Mark? We've only ever been here when it's deserted. Kynance Cove, and because we, we never come in the high season, we come and we just park really easily. But this is the tailback for the car park and it's, not, it's only just quarter past 10. So we're hoping that it's just them parking people up. And it's not actually because everyone's the just turning around to come back. Kynance, it's Kai Pants. Kai Pants. So we're very, very sad at the minute because we think we might not be able to go and we're really, really excited and we really want to show Kiki and Sally the turquoise seat. So we're very annoyed. Okay. Against all the odds, we got into the car park because um, there's an overflow car park, car park. Honestly, this will be totally full in about another 10 minutes. But now we can't bloody pay. I found a <laughs> Nanny died as a ginger nut. Very, very Nanny sad. Nanny died didn't bring any money. I haven't got any money. And we are one pound short of what we need for the bloody car park. So I'm going to say in a minute, we just pay the fine. We'll just pay the fine. We're not going to leave. Flamboyant. No. What else can we do? I'll have to stand on a rock and I'll have to pay with the app. Oh, we can pay by the app. Okay, let's find a rock. Hang on, let me come around this side. Let me come around this side. Right, where are we at? What we have we got? 60p. Oh, you're joking. I need... We're 60p short. Yeah. Bloody hell. Oh. 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 I can't actually believe this. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck now. Got... Right, who's got my phone? Oh, you've got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it off. Uh, so, it's so funny, because when we came in, Mark said it's £7. Yeah. I've just heard a woman over there saying she's booked an hour and a half. So maybe £7 is for all day. Maybe. So maybe we can get in there. Or if not, I'm going to go and ask somebody for some money. I'm going to try the app. You can't ask someone for money. I'm going to say lend us 60 quid, 60p. 60p. <laughs> say what? £3 for two hours, £5 for up to four hours, £7 all day. Cool. So we can do it? Yeah, we can do it. Oh. Hey guys. We have never seen it like this before. Never, ever been here. And yeah. we would never actually come here like this, would we? Oh, yeah. You're all right. I'm all right. You're all right. So here we are. It's a shame we're not on them. We've actually ended up, ironically, parking right next to the entrance. That's entirely convenient on almost every conceivable level. So it couldn't After be, couldn't have been easier. Fear. All our fear. We just automatically assume yeah. it's devastation. So Nanny Di, isn't it? Don't forget for Nanny Di, it's really important that she keeps exercising. So in a minute, I'm gonna get her to bungee jump. You are right, mum? Keep those legs moving. Keep those little legs moving, Captain Mannering. Mum, have you found now you're over 70 that you like Dad's army? No. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't half hot, Mum? No. Hello, hello? No. All oh, right, Nadia's parents have really got into hello, hello. Yeah, they love it. Yeah. So basically, when the time is low, the thing goes out, you wouldn't believe it, Subs, but beyond there, down there, is something quite stunning, Ma. I won't believe it for a second. Do you want me, well, let me take your bag. No, no, my bag isn't heavy. Yes. Just talking about Heather. You used to have a friend called Heather. Do you remember? Yeah. Mark, yeah. there's cows over there. Do your mating yeah. call. Mating call. Gets me every time. Uh, 
So I think we ought to go straight to the cafe. What oh, do you think? Really Just to feed the kids. Yeah, I really need to eat. Oh, it's the cafe, you know. Kiki said to me, Daddy needs to eat. I said, it's all right, I've got an apple in my bag. Right? An apple won't do. I had a moment <laughs> over at the car park, just had a moment where I just wanted you all to die. I know, we all felt <laughs> yeah, it. And that's when she said to me, Daddy needs no, to I eat. No, I literally had a moment where I, if I could have just, and this is why I'm worried I'm slightly possessed. Your rage was just... No, no, it wasn't rage. It was weird. It was too strong. I just wanted you all to just be Well, painful. okay. Sorry if I find I that wanted, rageful. I, wanted, I didn't want any involvement <laughs> with any of you. I know, that's why you went, get over there, stay just, over there. It's like, what for? Why are home. we going over there when the sea is over there? That's <laughs> terrible. I think it happens in families just suddenly sometimes. People are just like, get away from me, all of you. Yeah, but that's in families where somebody goes nuts and shoots them. Well, I'm worried that I've been possessed. Mark thinks he was possessed last, last night. Last night, the subs will have seen me walking along with the scarecrow feeling very perturbed, and I'm worried something's happened. It's a Stephen King set up. Yeah. Like just, but so the problem is I've written my book. I'm not in the process of writing it. <laughs> Oh, it's the most perfect weather, Subs. I wish we could share it with you. It's warm with just a nice, cool, the slightest of cool breezes. It's just perfect. And I feel like I won the lottery because we got into the car park. I was really, really getting sad in the back yeah, of the car. No, thought, we're not going to see it. Go on, let's go. We're not going to see it. You won the lottery always. Yes. You're an eternal optimist. Eternal optimist. And can I just say, guys, for those subs who do worry about Nan, I'm carrying absolutely all of her stuff. <laughs> all of it. So no oh. And there it is. Oh, my God. And the tide will be going out soon. And we will. the, the beach will be revealed, girls. You won't believe yeah, it. Yeah, the tide's going out, so you'll be able to walk on that sand. Yeah, oh, we're going to get to it now. It's going to be even more. See where that and rock that is. Tide. See where those canoeists are out there. Yeah. You'll be able to walk there. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Have you got your swimming cozies on underneath? Oh. What? They haven't got their swimming cozies. Oh, I'll okay, my bra and pants on it. Look. It's too, it will still be freezing cold like last time. It hates it. It's not really warm. Wow. People have come early. That it's Greece. Beautiful sound. That's no less good than the disgrace, is it, Matthew? Nads, what does it say? <laughs> so going, checking about the time. <laughs> it's there, and then it goes all the way up to there. See what I mean? Don't get cut off no, by the tide. Look yes. at that. Go now then. Do, 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 do. Low tide, high tide. Low tide. That over there becomes really sandy too, and you can get caught by the tide out there. Meanwhile, we're all about to have a drink over there. And that's the route back up. So you're wearing a pair of dungarees and drinking cider. I don't know what you've become. I don't know. You've become a scrummy, scrummy jack. I have. And we've ordered a cream tea for you guys that Manny Dye is going to um, review. Seriously. Yeah. Meaningful discussion about whether we put jam or cream first. Girls have got milkshake. Bacon sandwich. Bacon sandwich. All freshly cooked. Isn't it? This is a really lovely place to come to. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's X proper. X marks the spot. That is proper. Um, I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get to oh, the Who's having a prawn oh, made? A prawn sandwich. Good choice, Sally. Yum. Look at that doughy bread. You can almost climb back into bed in that Whoa. bread. Bacon and cranberry oh. and brie for you. Oh. <gasps> Diabetes <laughs> in a box. He says I'm mangry. I'm not mangry, am I, babe? Not at all. He's no. not mangry at all. <laughs> He's doing really well with his hunger. I had a you moment up there where I wanted the entire family to vaporise. The weight of it. Can you feel the weight of it? Babe, that's Can almost we... as heavy as a baby. Jesus. Isn't it? It's probably like about 10 million calories. You in gave that. birth to that. It's like a baby so pasty. Nice. And look at the X. I love this. This is so piratey. The yeah. X marks the spot. What do you think is in the X? Gold, the coin, a sovereign. Use another bread cake for the coin. They're all the same. 
<laughs> Dungaree girl <laughs> eats Cornish oh. pasty. You alright, babe? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good. Is it hot? Pasty is really salty and dense. The cheese and potato really cheese and potato in the onions You're really Greg onion. Wallace, babe. That's as big as you. Mm. Mm. Oh, she's excited. Nanny Dye is on the old We Are Made of Giants. Yeah. Made of giants. Meanwhile, I'm sort of obsessed with the fact that Nanny has just become a cider swilling pasty eater. <laughs> oh, wearing a set of dungarees. Look, look at her. Guess where I am. <laughs> You've literally, you you're, you're, are you occupying the part or something? No. Guess where I am. Uh, <laughs> uh. Is that a photo? Yeah, I'm photographing as well. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses where I might be? <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do, Sobs, is we are going to set up both options for the scale. The big debate is cream on first or jam on first. Set up both and we're gonna try it. Right. So I'm very much a jam first, cream second for eating it, but for the look of it, jam on top of the cream. Definitely. Oh, that's interesting. And this is why there's a big problem between what people like and what people don't like. So here we go. I'm gonna do one of each. So I don't jam. know anybody that likes cream on first. No, I don't. I mean, it's just, oh, what are you talking about? It's, oh my God, is that, oh, it's a massive, so many, I mean, I think it's a Cornish thing that it's cream first. Oh, okay, maybe. I think. Maybe. Although it is Cornish, isn't it? Cornish yeah. cream. Wow, that cream just looks absolutely. You're not gonna put any on these ones? They go on top, don't they? Like a. <gasps> Trouble is, jam's become one of my favorite things, which isn't, Exactly good. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Should have done it with the backdrop of this, not the recycling bin. <laughs> that looks better. No, that looks better. Oh, that looks better. That's oh, way. no, no, you're right. Cream and then jam. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, I see already the debate. Yeah. What do you prefer, Di? That one. For look and for... Um... It's supposed to be a photo, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so which one are you going to go for first? Well, the one that looks most naturally like it would be good. But you see, I, I Explain think... Explain to me what you're seeing. I'm, I'm they doing say exactly we that. eat with our eyes first. So what, what do you like? I think people will be drawn to whatever their favourite substance is being first on the spot. Oh. So my mum said she prefers jam first because she prefers jam to cream. I prefer cream to jam, so I'm going cream. But, that's but what I... looks better? I think what looks better is jam first. Do you? Yeah, I think okay. it looks better because it looks a bit like a sort of cake, whereas okay. this just looks like indulgent. Mm. Okay, don't have another bite, have a oh. bite of the other one okay. now. I was really enjoying that. <laughs> That's probably better in terms of taste. Really? Mm. That's my preferred. Let me try them now. We swap seats so that you can get beautiful back oh my god it's all people there now don't come in and don't come in july yeah, come in hideous. september oh, okay look, there's, hang on look, there's maddie and keith there's kiki and sally oh. coming back right. right okay so this is jam and cream cream and jam mm. Jam and cream. Well, which one's that? That's one I like better. Yeah, I think that tastes better. For looks and for taste. Whereas I thought I wanted the cream first and jam. Mm. Can I now just jump in and eat them? Mm -hmm. So oh, we've left. Look at the lovely little staircase. We've left the others. We left Nanny die and kids over there. I've got to say again, it's lovely here, but not like it is off season. It's the, uh, it's the wind breaks that I find a shame because everyone sort of stakes out and their also, little bit of Britain. And also people put, like, a lot of what I love here is the rock formation. There's somebody down there who's taken almost an entire rock and put drying all the all family's their... clothing all yeah, the way up there. And I, I just could, I couldn't, wouldn't be able to do that because I think the downside, spoil the view for everyone. The downside of staycation is that everyone's staycations. Mm. Anyway, so we thought we'd do something different, which is climb a rock. 
And I've got a face full of Nadia Swall off the telly's bottom. Thank you. Hey. Oh my God, that Cornish pasty that you saw, <sighs> that size is known there. But I never, ever, ever have a Cornish pasty anywhere else than Cornwall. Don't feel guilty about no, it. No, I'm just wanting to explain. On the whole food guilt, not feeling guilty thing, that's what me and Kaz were talking about the other day. My friend who does dance your tips off. It's about going, like today, I genuinely don't feel any guilt, but I was thinking about all the other times that I've come to Cornwall and I've had a pasty. And then the rest of the day, I'll be hating myself because I've had a pasty. It's, that's the stinking thinking I'm always talking about. I mean, Cornwall, I'm gonna have a pasty. From France, I'm gonna have a big bowl of mussels and French bread. But it's about not having it every single day if you're on holiday. Don't have one every day. Because then what happens is you get home and you just feel, Ugh. look at those gorgeous orange flowers. What are they? Meanwhile, I had an entire scone and I feel guilty about that. Oh. Oh. Because it will ruin your day, even Cornwall. Heading up. Anything anymore? We're having one cream tea and we've had it. Look at this. Come on. We've got to get the girls up here. Suddenly there's no one here absolutely deserted yeah. Pirates Cove see that river behind there so many people down there so we've taken a little climb up and yet we get up here that was a four minute walk and there's not a soul and what are we going to find the other side it's going to disappear Cliff edge. I'm not going to it Cliff edge. Look. Oh my god. We've got to get the girls and walk all the way around here now. Look at the little rock pool there. Yeah. This is the other side. Here we go, guys. Ye who passes this space. <laughs> Did you stop when you got to here? No. no. Uh -huh. You're like a gangster, Kiki. Me? Yeah. <laughs> You're like a gangster, aren't you? Frightening me. You haven't become a psychopath down here, have you? Oh, I really can't. The blue and the green is phenomenal. We should oh, come. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, I love that. Okay. I've got a suggestion. The next low tide is at 1 a.m. Why don't we come down at midnight? We could swim at night. Let's do it. They want to do it. They're up for it. 1 a.m. Let's do it. By starlight. By starlight. I love that rock. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. A rock pool over here. they should always wear their swimming goals, Jim. I mean, would think everyone would just look after themselves and bring a coat and bring a jumper and bring out and... Oh, so I've challenged the girls to see if we can walk around this rock and go all the way around before the tide comes back in. There's a hole. Okay. Come on, lads. Come on, Em. Keep coming. Keep coming, look. Think of Indiana Jones. Come on, come on. Okay, it goes really deep here. Oh. Yes. We're making it. We'll see it coming. It's gorgeous. 
How deep is it? Deep. Oh, look at the colour. Oh, this is Thailand. This is Thailand. This is just like Thailand. Oh, shall I try going? So, oh, well, it's quite deep. It's quite deep. Quite deep. It's quite deep. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's coming in! Run! <laughs> Kiki! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, oh my god, suddenly when it comes in, it's quite. Right. I'm so sad for Madeline Patrick. I know. I would have loved it. How gorgeous is that? Look behind us. So gorgeous. Look at that. There's the bay. There's the rock, and there's, and there's Kynan's Cove. I was just saying to Kiki and Sally that where we are now. Good to see you again, guys. Yeah. Seven minutes past one, so we're at the lowest tide. Yeah. So that's the furthest out of going. It's actually seven minutes past one that it's due to so we've turn. So got all this beach here. So all of this, no, and you can look. If you look up, less so there, but look, if you look on that side there, it's glistening. Yeah. The water would reach that high. So we are deep underwater in there. In about another four or five hours. So what time do people there need to start moving? Next hour. <laughs> They don't look like they're going to move hour in an half, hour. Hour, hour and a half will start to lap up. But the thing is, the thing yeah. is, it's less about here. It's whether there's a lower bit over yeah. there that C cuts, cuts you off from the main thing. I know. So it just gets smashed up to there. Really makes you think about smugglers, doesn't it? And pirates. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Can you hold that Hello? Who's that? This will be full. This will be full of water, girls. See you guys. I'm staying here. I'm staying here. There's a trip. That's a good shot. The sea. Look at that. Oh. oh, I just read them really, really brightly. Babe. <laughs> Mark. What did you think happened? I don't know. It's a lovely place to sit here, isn't it? Isn't it? sheltered. Yeah. Look, look, there's a little tiny back. hole down there, look. I know. Um, I want to jump into the box. Nat. Mum. Careful. Oh, <laughs> Friend. Oh. oh no! Where is he? Here, at one point What's he What's his name? Forky. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose him? Corky? Yeah, Corky. he jumped. Eventually oh, he flew off, but then. He's come back. Yeah, I know. Oh. Look at the arthritis in that necklace, yeah. Todd. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> I've got twins! <laughs> Mum, you're one. breeding them. Kynet's Cove has been done. We are on our way back up the mountain. Not been done. Nanny yeah. dies there. The girls have regretted not wearing their swimming costume, so we are going to come back. They want to just go back and get sick, yeah. all they said. Just... And we're just taking it easy. But Nanny dies getting stronger with each day that goes by. And down there you can hear the, the peeling sounds of children at play. Let's hope they're not drowning. Oh, we love you, kind of babe, just in case we don't come back. Oh, she can't work out how to get out. Come on. <laughs> They'll come front ways. This is not a seven person car, is it? Oh my god. Oh. I can't help you. <laughs> Come on, babe. <laughs> You're gonna burst your knee. I can't get my arms out. My arms is stuck. <laughs> oh. Get. Don't I don't want him to help me. It's ridiculous. I'm not gonna be helped to get out of the bloody. Don't, don't, don't tread on that. Don't me. do anything sudden. Sudden? Don't tread on that. 
got your leg. It's been a twist. Doesn't he? Very, very small back. Close your nose. Babe. Close your nose. Babe. Get burned. Oh, it's got in my eyeballs. Well, I told you to close your nose. It's got in my eyeballs and in my, oh, my open wound of That's my what they were saying, shaving. Close your nose. Close your nose. Yeah. Oh. I think it must come from this. Sandstorms. Close your nose. Close your nose. Nanny Dye watching oh, Mark, the Sunday show. Oh, Person here has picked up um, Cocky Actress. Oh, have they? And um, loved it. Oh, as, good. As a result of. Um, oh, I love it when people take our recommendations. Yeah. She doesn't know I'm filming her. Have you not seen this show? Yes. I don't know why I'm on it even. <laughs> She's watching it again. <laughs> I think we should pretend to be dogs. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and we'll run around and you have to film us. Who's going to be Chi Chi and who's going to be Toffee? Maddie will be good at this. Yeah. Maddie will be good. Maddie. Yeah. She, she'd be good at Chi Chi. Yeah. You can be Toffee. Yeah. Okay, and I'll film you. It's so funny how occasionally the kids disappear into, uh, you know, in the back of the shop. So, Mum, this reminds me of when we were in Spain. And we'd go on our little I shop know, missions. Would, wouldn't we? We'd dance around the supermarket. Our little sorties into town. Exactly. Well, we're going to Mullion to go and get ourselves some provisions. We need plastic burger cheese. We need something else, some salad, I think. And something he else. He doesn't need to come and do clean. I don't think Patrick eats meat, beef, meat, oh, minced beef or something, meat, something like that. Anyway, how are you finding things, Mum? Good. Have you, uh, have, you, have, you got a, have you taken some pills? <laughs> no, no, I mean, I might have to take a pill for my... Um, I'm going to get some paracetamol. Do not let me forget. How exciting. Because um, I think I might have had a bit too much sun. You've been bird spotting today, Mum. I have. Was it rewarding? Did you decide it was a merlin rather than an osprey? I don't know. I don't think it was big enough for an osprey. It's a bit hit and miss, isn't it, deciding what birds <laughs> are, I've noticed. <laughs> Because well, the problem is you can never verify it because the bird usually is gone. Well, unless you, you're an expert like my expert, Is a lot of bird husband. watching based on trust? Well, no, people know usually. Yeah, no, but if you see... So say you saw something or your dear late ex-partner friend Liz saw something. She would know. She, yeah, but she, she would just simply contact you and say, I saw a thingy, but... How do you verify whether she was talking nonsense or no, not? No, no, she wouldn't be because in the same way as you wouldn't be about something to do with film. She knew enough to know to be always right. But it says based on trust. It's, I suppose in a way. But I mean, for example, give me an example. If I heard that the way that um, bird of prey was uh, making that noise, if I'd have played that to her, she would have known what that was. But here's the thing. We saw a, three bird, birds of prey this afternoon. Mm. They flew over us. Mm. They've gone. Yes. We then look at photographs. Yes. We try and identify. We've got nothing to compare it to because it's now gone. No, no, I, I, Mark, I definitely. I know what it was watching. anyway. I absolutely know what it was. What? It was Harley Quinn. Yeah. Bird watching would not suit you as a, as a profession. It's, it's it, far too hit and miss. It's arbitrary. You. Well, it's not, but it's I, arbitrary. I get what you're saying. You, 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 We're just queuing outside the spa. This is like a beard sack. It's, it's, well, yes, I don't like the word sack. Can you not no, I don't mean. It makes me look Amish, don't you think? <laughs> it does very much. I look Amish. But, um, How are you doing, yeah? Would you like to, do you remember, yeah? Yes, but luckily before the 25th, it doesn't matter that I haven't got one. No. Although, ironically, I've brought thousands with me and I yes. wear them all the time in London. Oh. <laughs> Mark, just explain to the subs what you're doing. 
Um, we're, we're trying to, I'm trying to get to grips with the rules of a murder mystery <laughs> uh, game. But what it requires, given that virtually no one in this family has a, any short-term memory, it requires being in possession of what you've read in the document for your character. I have a very good short-term memory when it's about character. Okay, well, it's about character, but it's also about where you were and what you were doing at certain times. Who's Samantha again? Yeah! Oh, you! Oh, right, yeah, well, that's because... Oh. <laughs> this is weird. Oh. <laughs> You're Albert. <laughs> Nanny Dar, you've got to give us more Albert. You're not very Albert at the moment. Okay, well, Albert's blind drunk. <laughs> no, no, Elaborate. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> no, I'm not blind drunk. But, well, well, you um, seemed it, because you haven't overcome your alcohol. No, 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 because I was, I was so Remember, sick. that's why we left in the... Well, that's why we broke up in the first place, Albert. You're Albert, where were you? Somewhere else. Hold on, let me see where I was at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you were with me. You oh, just no. can't remember because you're too drunk. <laughs> no, I was with George by then. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was. Well, what time did George die? Uh, I do ask the most difficult question. Mid, yes, midnight. Or was it midnight or was he found at midnight? So sometime ah, before. sometime before midnight. I snuck into the restaurant to see George. Who's <gasps> <It's> George? <laughs> <laughs> Your brother, who's <laughs> dead. <Yeah>. The murdered <laughs> one. <laughs> and we are all making assumptions. Okay. Had you had a drink at this point? No, it's just water. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you're not allowed to lie. <laughs> Wait, did you not know you weren't allowed to lie? Well, it says it. Hang on, don't say anything. She drank water. Oh, oh, she's not lying. Maybe, maybe Albert's convinced he was drinking water, but he definitely wasn't. Henry and Penelope were having sex. <laughs> Nervously. You? Yeah, what was Marcus, Marcus up to? What were you up to? Yes. <laughs> what I was were you up to? Merely, I was having to make a very important phone call to Robert Fisher, my investment partner. We could kept hearing Albert saying, who the hell is George? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's probably Albert. Yeah, like she is your bloody brother and I found a photograph of a pair of you torn up in the toilet. Yeah. There was a moment when we were standing very close to each other. <laughs> Right. And what were you doing? And I suddenly felt very uneasy. And I right. felt very dejected. And Albert, uh, before Albert could kiss me, I told him he had to go. Yeah. And I left the room very yeah. quickly. So right. I was dejected. So you rejected Albert? <laughs> yeah, I rejected yeah. Albert. After. I, I put aside my dejection and wandered out because I wanted to toast the new year. Has anything about the new year come into this so far? Well, it's snowing. It's snowing, isn't it? snowing, isn't it? <laughs> Glass of water. What, what time? <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't 11.30. 11.30. Yeah, it's 11 me and you were um, in the room and you kissed me. 
It was just before, hang on, just before midnight, I heard you screaming for help. Right, yes. can I explain? Yes. Please do. Oh. Okay. I got into George's car and I was driving away and I, I crashed. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Bloody hell, what's happened? Into a tree. What? Into a tree. kitchen utensils. <laughs> <laughs> you Could have been looking for a knife. Well, but he wasn't he wasn't killed with a knife. What was he killed? God, never play a murder mystery. <laughs> With this range of ages. Oh my God. I'm actually disgusted with you and I just want to tell you that I never want to see you again. It's over. Okay. You stole my phone. That's why I had to take my, I had to get you to take the photo of me in the little black dress because my phone was gone. Now Marker, Henry, has fallen out terribly with me because he thinks that I gave you my phone. Albert, who's George?